how do you say this fruit and Malay? Kalima. Kalima. But look at the energy, guys, and it's only getting started out here. It's super early still. It's around 7 p.m. Wait, I'm gonna let you pour it up, bro. I don't oh, smoke I, this. You don't, don't smoke, babe, guys. This shit's one. terrible for you. Oh, if you're gonna smoke something, smoke a J. Oh. 30 minute, 50 ringgit. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the nightlife and show you guys what the streets are looking like during the evenings here on the weekends. Right now, it's actually a Saturday. There's a lot of street performers out, a lot of people out eating food. And yeah, the energy is quite unreal. This place, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's always extremely busy. It's a Sharwama stand actually called Damascus. And there's always a huge line. So many people here. So I don't think I'm actually gonna be trying this place this trip. But next time, I absolutely will. So yeah, just another reason to come back. Let me know, have you guys ever had a shawarma from this place? Or is it just all hype? I'm curious to hear your guys' opinions. But yeah, this is what the evenings look like here in Kuala Lumpur. People always hit the streets. There's always so much going on, street vendors. This is when the weather actually starts to cool down. So this is when the locals like to come out, uh, do their eating, do their shopping. And of course, for those who are not Muslim, this is when they do their drinking as well. So join me as I show you guys around Kuala Lumpur at night because this city looks incredible when it's fully lit up. I mean, look at this place. Amazing. Now, right now I'm actually heading to Jalan Alor Walking Street, one of the most famous food streets here in the city. It's a place that a lot of locals like to go to that are not Muslim because the street is actually not halal, but it is also very touristic as well. However, we're tourists, right? You're gonna be visiting Kuala Lumpur as a tourist, so you wanna see what these places look like. Now, this little crossing actually reminds me of like the crossing. Hey, how's it going? I follow you, I watch your video. Hey, thanks a lot, bro. Where are you from? Canada, bro. Canada. I actually messaged you. Oh, did you? Uh, well, like some places that I'm here, like it's really nice meeting Yo, you. Yo, what's your like, name, bro? Yeah. FK. Chris. Chris. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you, man. Uh, I've been following your makeup videos. So it's one of the oh, countries that we so Wow, this is insane. Yo, YouTube connects everybody. This is sick. How long are you here for? Yeah, it's um, Oh, dude, same though. I'm leaving in a few days. Uh, I'm going to Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I was watching your video here. Also, I was like, damn, what would be like? Are you, you here on your own? Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. I was like, yo, if I ran into you randomly, that would be cool. And I just did. Yo, that's <laughs> sick. Hey, thanks for saying thanks hi, so man. I appreciate you big time, man. Hey, bro, take care, man. Hey, well, um, if you want to link up in a little bit, let me know. We're about to have some beers. That's where we're going right now. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just, just going to go to a pavilion. Okay. Yo, well, hit me up. Send me a message on Instagram. I'll be. I'll, I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it. All right. For sure, absolutely. I'll check right, it, bro. Cool. I'll be careful, be careful. All right, bro. Yeah, man. I'll see you in a little bit then. Yo, how crazy is that? All the way from Canada. People from all over the world recognizing me on the streets here in Kuala Lumpur, and it's an absolute great feeling. Now, I'm with Solo, and I'm also with my friend Wayne. Yo, so he's from China, right? And he's been, he actually just sat down with us, and he's like, yo, guys, I need to come up with a new English name, a new name. So, a new name. You think Wayne's a good one? Wayne's the best one. Okay. His name was Jack, but it just changed. Yeah, I just changed my name. So why do Chinese people like choose an English name? Can because, you tell us? Because uh, Chinese name is pronunciation is very hard. It's very hard, yeah, huh? It's very hard. What's your Chinese name? Wei Hang. Wei Hang. Yeah. And that's actually why we chose Wayne because Wei Hang actually. Well, that's what it sounds like to us. Wayne. Yeah, it sounds Wayne. like Wayne. Wei Hang. Wayne. So it's super cool. We met a few nights ago actually in the pool of our um, apartment. We were in the same apartment. He's actually here as in, I guess you could call it like an exchange student, right? Yes. And he's here studying his doctorate. So super cool. But wow, guys, look at this street. This is why I told you it looks like the famous crossing in Japan because people just go crazy. Look, we're just going to stand here for one second and watch this. Just watch how people pass by. Pretty cool, right? Organized chaos is what we used to call it in the military. Organized chaos. That's what this reminds me of. But yeah, guys, the streets are very much active this evening. There's a lot going on. I love seeing all of the neon lights, these screens. 
Now these people here, they actually put on a um, like live music, live show here every evening. I've seen them here every single night except Sundays, I think. It looks like they're just getting set up. But as you can tell, people like to sit down on the steps and actually admire the music. It's quite nice. Now these balloons also seem to be extremely popular as well. Now, the plan for this video is actually, well, to show you guys the nightlife. We're gonna have some beers, maybe find ourselves a couple shots of tequila because I definitely need, you know, a little something to loosen off the edge because, why? Well, it's Saturday night and, man, I'm out here living my best life in Malaysia. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, you guys should join me because we're also gonna be sitting down to enjoy ourselves a nice meal on the Jalan Alor walking street. Let me know what you guys think of this so far though because I know coming from the US there's not really many many uh, city centers that look this vibrant that look like um, that have this much going on so it's cool to be out here and it's cool to show you guys all of the different sounds the lights the advertisements that police siren is annoying though they need to turn that bad boy off Street vendors out right now. <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, but I like making these videos just walking around showing you guys what the vibes are like because you guys enjoy them. You guys always tell me that they make for great content, so why not? Let's do it. Let's explore. Now, I was actually staying in this Bukit Bintang area for around two weeks. Roughly two weeks I was staying here and I spent about a week sick completely with the voice gone and yeah, it took away so much time, but those are things you simply can't control. So I'm not complaining, I feel a lot better now. I've been able to pump out a lot more videos for you guys. I've been able to meet a lot of incredible people and I think that, you know, I did Kuala Lumpur justice, however, of course, a nightlife video is always needed, especially when you're in a city that's so vibrant. So, these are the Michael Jacksons, I don't know if you guys remember them from the first video. Wow, that's actually a karaoke stand. Karaoke is extremely popular in Asia and people absolutely love karaoke. Anytime that, well, I've realized that um, in the Asian countries, anytime some, anytime people go out, they actually really enjoy to do karaoke, which I completely agree with. When I was a lot younger, actually I haven't done it in several years, but when I was a lot younger, I used to be the only friend that would go to karaoke bar and I'd be that only guy that sings constantly. All of my other friends, too shy, too embarrassed, but me, all day long. You can't take the mic away from Chris, not on the karaoke machine. But yeah, guys, I mean, look at this building. What a crazy karaoke place. You guys want to go to karaoke later? Yeah. Uh, Can you sing, Wayne? Yes. All right, let's do karaoke. I invite you, bro. Yo, karaoke. We'll go later on. China, bro. Okay, let's have some dinner. Okay, let's try. Let's have a beer, Wayne. Okay. Solo cool. won't have a beer with us because, well, Solo's actually um, Muslim, so he doesn't drink. But Wayne's going to be drinking a beer with us, and then <laughs> we're going to go to karaoke, all right, bro? I think that sounds like a great plan. So, how do you like your name so far? It's great, huh? Wayne. So far it's great. So you know, far going good? Easy to remember? Yeah, it's very easy to remember. Okay. You know why we said Wayne? Well, it's because, you know, Bruce Wayne. I'm sure everyone knows Bruce Wayne. He's Batman. So you have Wayne. <laughs> He's the Batman of China. That's <laughs> super also funny. Bruce Lee. Bruce, Bruce Lee, yeah. Bruce, yeah. Of course. Where's Bruce Lee from? Is Bruce he from Lee the US? Yes. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Oh, okay. US and Hong I think Kong. She's, uh, he, uh, no, he was born. In US. I maybe, think. yeah, maybe you're right. It's San Francisco. Probably. And Wayne, which part of China are you from, bro? Uh, east of China. East of China? East, uh, eastern of China is called Jiangsu. Province. Jiangsu, Province. okay. And you've traveled all around the world because we were talking a few days ago. I mean, you've been to you've been to the Europe continent. You've been to, well, many places in Asia. Have you been to the US before? No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But Soon. I will. Yeah, but definitely. I hope I will. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will. 
especially because, well, we got to talking a few um, days ago, and Wayne is extremely adventurous. Like, we were literally all just talking for, like, what, a whole 30 minutes, and then we got out the pool, and we just started exploring, um, well, the area of our home for a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of cars. But this here is where we're crossing over, guys. Hey, we can go. We can go. To Jalan Alor Walking Street, one of the most famous food streets here in Malaysia. Or in Kuala Lumpur, I should say. And yes, of course, they got the king of fruits. Have you been here before? Yes, yesterday night, I just walked around here. First time? Yeah, first time. Did you like it? Yes, yeah, a lot of food. A lot, a lot of good of food, food, huh? And a lot of people as well. Yeah. It's very active. The energy is pretty, pretty good here. You got the mango sticky rice, the durian. Do they have durian in China? Yes, I think so. Ah, I think so. Uh, also, mouza, 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 mouza. But is it very expensive? But, uh, Yes, it's very expensive in China, but here it's very, uh, how to say, it? not expensive, very cheap. Very cheap, very yeah. Cheap, yeah. Actually, here, well, durian is very, it's still expensive for a lot of people. Uh, the local people, it's still very expensive, but it is, yeah, we're going to try some food for sure, bro. Actually, you know what? I really want one of these juices right now. So let's see, maybe we can get one of these juices right now. Hello. Good. Wow, these look amazing. Reminds me of Morocco. In Morocco, you see a lot of the pomegranate juice scents. Can I get one pomegranate, please? I need a press like that at home. <laughs> They'll be making fresh juices every morning. How do you say this fruit in Malay? Kalima. Kalima. Talima. Talima. Wow, where does the Talima come from? Egypt. Oh, from Egypt. Wow. Okay, now the problem I have right now is that um, I actually don't have like any small money, which is a problem when you're shopping. Here. Do you have change, sir, for 50? It's actually 12 ringgit, so we're gonna do 52. That way we get some some good e 20. Oh, 20. Oh, easy. 20. There you go. Pomegranate's always more expensive than orange. Okay. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Wow. Doesn't get fresher than that. Thank you, bro. Actually, so look, can you hold this for a yeah, second? Yeah, no problem. Let's try this juice, dude. It looks amazing. How oh, you still drink? Good, it's so good. So good? <laughs> You've never had pomegranate? This one? No. No? This one? Would you like to try? Okay, but uh, not now. Okay, alright. Later, later. Later, later. Alright. Well, let's continue. Let's go for a little walk because I'm actually hungry. I wanted to sit down and have a meal. We were actually thinking, who knows, maybe a noodle dish, a fried dish. Wow, what is this? Hello? Is that bacon? Oh, that's jerky. Wow. I'm going to have to come try it later. Thank you. Beef jerky. Smells incredible. Now, guys, you know one thing that I found completely shocking here in Malaysia is that, well, this is a primarily Muslim country, but I've actually seen pork being sold in many places. Can you guys please let me know why that is? I mean, I'm not uh, disagreeing with it because I obviously eat pork. I just... Um, I'm gen genuinely curious because I've spent a lot of time in Muslim countries and I never uh, can find like anything pork but here obviously because Malaysia is such a big melting pot you find it quite often but I for some reason was expecting like that it would be illegal I'm not sure why but like I said correct me if I'm wrong please hello no, I'm noticing, uh, well, I've noticed off of the last few days that I've explored this area that Jalan Alor is actually a, well, you find a lot of dishes from Thailand, from China, a lot of Filipino food, um, a lot more than you actually find Malaysian food. Look, they got some frog up there. You got the man selling the toys at all the tables. Pretty cool, huh? 
No, the energy is good. Energy is good. Now, what are you guys feeling for dinner? What are you guys thinking? I, <laughs> I'm one of those basic guys that like when I find a good spot that I like enjoy eating at, I always go to the same spot. Solo knows because we've literally ate at the same Thai restaurant. Yes, I know. Uh, what, I know about you three want. times now. I, I know you want. What? Tom Yum. Yeah, that's my go-to. Uh, I like Tom Yum. I love Tom. Honestly, the guy, like Chris, which you picked, is amazing. Okay. And what do you what are you a fan of? You like anything noodles? Anything noodles and dim sum. You know dim sum? Oh, dim sum. Dim sum. That's very famous in China, huh? Oh, yes, very famous in Chinese food. What's the favorite? What's your favorite dim sum? What flavor? Uh, Hakao. This means uh, shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, okay. Shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, does this shrimp. lady recognize? Oh. Yeah. Is that the lady? I think we saw her a couple of times. My friend. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? You have space for me and my friends? <laughs> yeah, for, for us three. Us three. We want to sit down. I want to show everybody the amazing Thai, my favorite Thai restaurant. <laughs> She's the same person that says hi to me every time I come. She's my friend. All right. Well, yeah, this is the Thai food restaurant we've literally been uh, coming to the entire time. Oh, huh, Solo? Yeah, I've been with Chris like three times at least. Yeah, and this is your first time here, right? At this spot? Okay. Well, one of the reasons I enjoy this spot, guys, is because you can people watch. I'm a huge fan of people watching, seeing the motorcycles drive by. It's super nice, good vibes. Now, the menu here is actually very diverse. Look at this, guys. They got barbecue chicken wings. Now, I'm gonna tell you some prices in American dollars so you guys can kind of understand, but barbecue chicken wings, 25 ringgit, that's roughly six bucks. They got grilled Thai stingray, some crab, some prawns. Yeah, a lot of good stuff to choose from. But I definitely always stick with like the tum yum. However, today I'm feeling a little warm and because I am going to be doing some, a little bit of drinking, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to probably go with like a rice dish or maybe even some of these sautés. Sautés are amazing, so good. Now I am noticing that the sautés are definitely a lot more expensive. They're nine ringgit for five pieces. Typically on the street, you can pay one ringgit per piece. So big difference, but yeah let's choose our food and then well i'll talk to you guys once the meal comes on out because there's a lot to choose from how do you like the place so far bro like you like the energy yes i like here in china do you guys have a lot of night markets yes of course really yes of course but the, uh, every city has their own night market their own style yeah it's their own style wow that's awesome i need to go to china Please, I need to get that China visa soon. Thank you so much. Hey, when I come, Wayne, we're gonna we're gonna meet up, dude. Absolutely. And hopefully, Wayne will be done studying by then, so we can go crazy in China. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna put the camera down. Once the food comes out, I'll see you guys. Because yeah, it's gonna take a while before the food to actually get prepped and come on out here. Wayne, I'm gonna let you pour it up, bro. Show me how they pour up those beers in in China, bro. Oh damn, bartender Wayne! I'm just gonna be watching and like, seeing how you guys do it. All right, man. Hey, cheers, bro. Cheers. Hey, Heineken cup with a tiger beer. Let's do it. So, tiger is actually a Thai beer, if I'm not confusing. How do you guys? What do you say in China? Is there a There's some word? Yeah, word? yeah. Gambe. 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 Cheers. Oh, they brought solo a cup. It's okay. Give him chocolate milk. <laughs> Give him some Milo. Hey, I don't think Wayne understands. <laughs> look at, look at the clash of uh, cultures right here. Look, Wayne. Wayne doesn't understand. Explain it to Wayne. So I'm Muslim Wayne. So uh, I don't drink alcohol. But thank you so much. You and you and uh, Chris could just have it for yourself. <laughs> Wayne's super funny. He's like, here, Solo. You know what? Give me that cup, brother. I'll help you out over here. All right, guys. Well. Cheers to a night, Saturday night here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Mm. Nothing special. I, I don't know. Tiger beer is never great, but it's always cheap. So give me more. Mm. How do you feel about the tiger beer? Tiger beer uh, tastes like water, huh? Which country? Is I think that's Thailand. Thailand? Yeah. It says on a bottle, maybe. 
Yeah. Is it Thailand? Must be some country. Oh, this one's bottled in Malaysia though. Oh, really? Wow. Let us know in the comment section. Is Tiger Malaysian or Thai? No one to ask too. Excuse me. This is Thai beer, huh? Yeah, Thai beer. Thank you. Thai beer. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you when the food comes out because there's a lot of customers, a lot of prep going into this. And yeah, I don't want to just be running my mouth for a whole 20, 30 minutes until the food comes out. Actually, it's never that long. Look, dude, the food actually comes out quite fast, actually. Yeah, and we like all the ordered. Amount, the amount of people, like you see, like people surround us. We just like fill, like we pour around, and like, it's so many people. But yet, yeah, the food comes out fast, like. Five and to be minutes. honest, um, we kept it extremely basic right now. We're, we all ordered the Thai food that Thai people don't eat. What did we order, Salo? Fat Thai. Fat Thai. Three of them. So. Shouldn't take that long. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys once the food gets on out here. But look at the energy, guys. And it's only getting started out here. It's super early still. It's around 7 p.m. So that you guys can have a little bit of, of a time check in your head of what the streets look like out here in Kuala Lumpur. 7 p.m. All right. So here's the pad thai. Absolutely beautiful. You can never go wrong with a nice pad thai. How's yours, bro? You got the seafood. Is it delicious? Yes, it is delicious. And it's not bad, guys. Only three U.S. dollars each one. Now, I've noticed that here in Asia, well, throughout my time, is they never give you a knife. Knives don't exist in Asia. It's always a spoon. So this is what we're going to be eating with. Uh, Solo's going ahead and throwing the peanuts on there. You can't have a pad thai without peanuts. Of course. Pad thai and, like, chili and peanuts. Amazing, huh? Now, I've actually been eating these things here in Malaysia called saute, which are, like, chicken sticks. And they come with like a peanut sauce and a spicy sauce and they are absolutely incredible and honestly guys you have to try them when you're here but yeah look at this pad thai what an absolute beautiful dish look at this oh yeah i know i know you guys are jealous especially if you're watching from the u.s because this pad thai would cost you like 15 dollars. i understand all right guys oh yeah they do it incredible now there's a lot of people sitting here people just sat down next to us so you know what guys i'm actually about to put the camera down so that other people can enjoy their meals and then i'll see you guys at the bar so while you're sitting here like eating and drinking people come around and try and sell us vapes so this is a special today special vape i actually don't vape but you know what um you actually get to taste the sample Yeah, it's very, very famous vlogger. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't... Do you want to support? What is that one? Grape. Grape? Oh, yeah, let me try Grape that. Is our best seller. That's the best seller. You smoked? You smoked vape? I smoked second, second, oh. second hand. <laughs> ah, yeah, smart woman. Nice beauty. <laughs> that tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Great. Well, you like the, you like the menthol flavor one. Uh, I don't like any of them. I don't smoke. Um, but... Uh, you say this is like shisha? Yeah, it's kind of like a shisha, huh? But it's yeah. nicotine, right? Nicotine? 3%. 3%? It's, it's quite low already compared to other brands. And you get paid by commission. Oh, okay. You get, you, you get paid hourly? Yo, you know what? I'm about to get one of these to take home to my, um, yeah, to a friend. But um, I don't smoke this. Don't smoke vape, guys. This shit's terrible for you. If you're gonna smoke something, smoke a J. Something that's gonna give you a benefit, like I don't know, some benefit. You're gonna feel something off of it. I don't, I don't see the point of smoking vape. But you know what? We've wasted a lot of your time here at the table, so I'm gonna buy one from you. I take a, take one of these. Yeah, give me one, please. I have, I have the opportunity to enter your box. Yeah, of course. That's why I'm. That's why I'm gonna buy one for you because you're coming out in the video. Yeah, thank you. Am I beautiful? Do you want to try this cola lemon? This one is also amazing. Oh man, she doesn't understand that I don't smoke vape though. Nah, nah, but you need to try this. Try this lah, so you can. Okay, so I can I see which one I wanna buy. Yeah, I don't think lah, you can try this. Okay. Lah. Well, let me try this one because, guys, I seriously don't vape. I've never vaped. I also don't own a Subaru, so I can't vape. I'm good, thank you. 
Okay, that tastes like Coca Cola, huh? <laughs> Coca Cola, right? Yeah. Is that Coca Cola? The sweet, uh, the PC Cola sweet. Wow, yeah, like the Cola yeah. sweet. Okay. You know what? I'll take that one. Yeah, that one. Thank you. I just bought my first vape. Turning into a vapor. No, I'm joking. It's gonna go home as a gift, but she's a nice, sweet lady. And you, how long has she been here with us? Like 10 minutes? 15 minutes? So, if you waste people time, at least uh, buy something from them. All right, let's see. Like this is the stash, guys. That's where I got the money. Oh, I'm sure she has change, huh? Excuse me. They want to give you a new one. You have change? You give me a brand new one though, right? Okay. Look, she's happy. She just made a sale. Have you? Do you vape in China? Do people vape? Or no? This one. Yeah. Oh, nice. You have change? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we just bought a vape. Anyways, super random ass video, but I like to include all this stuff because yeah, you can buy a vape. You can buy roses from. Uh, this gentleman right here. Thank you so much. Here, let me give you a card. That way you can see the video. You want a selfie? You want a selfie? No? If you know what channel Here you go. That's me. All right, guys. Well, I just bought a vape. Now. Um, I'm gonna finish my beer and then we'll we'll go we'll go find the tequila. After. But yeah, this is going home as a gift. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Gotta finish these two and then we'll move on to the tequila. So we just left the Jalan Alor Street and we actually just met up with our friend who we met at the light. You actually just came from the mall, huh? Yeah, yeah. How was that? That was amazing, bro. The mall is here. Big, sick, huh? Biggest mall in Malaysia, bro. The pavilion one. Yeah. Is that the is that the biggest mall in Malaysia? One of the biggest in Kuala Lumpur, not the biggest. Okay. Biggest. Where's the biggest one, Solo? He's the expert. Putrajaya. 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 Okay. Putrajaya. Well, right now, guys, this is actually where like all the massage parlors are here in the Bukit Bintang area. Usually, when I'm walking here without the camera, without my friends, everybody's grabbing me, trying to sell me massages. But I have a feeling that that is actually not going to happen today. I just want to show you guys this area before we make it on over to like the bar street because well i'm okay right now thank you bro because well you guys are obviously curious to see this area as well now obviously guys you can get normal massages here too but they specialize in the you know what here in this area at least let's see Oh, it's active out here today. I'm leaving you guys behind. No. I'm okay right now. Thank you. I'm okay right now. Thank you. Huh? 30 minutes, 50 ringgit. No, I'm, I'm on vacation right now. We just left. Yeah. I'm okay right now, thank you. So yeah guys, that's a little bit of the um of the whole massage street. And of course you got back to the street food right here. Look at this. Wow. So have you walked around this area before? No, it's the first time. This is the first time. You've never walked around the Bukit Binteng area. Oh wow! This is so, how did you feel about that street? What? Learn about this street? No. How did you feel about that street right now, walking down that area? Oh, that was, that was crazy. Do you think? Would you say, as a novice traveler in Asia, that that's a legit massage street? That's a legit massage. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. But like, but like a legit massage street. Like a like a legit like yeah, you're gonna yeah, go there yeah. and get a nice deep tissue massage, or you're gonna leave with something else. What would you come up with your assumptions? He's only been in Asia for like, what, a total of like eight days, ten days? Yeah, about, about like four or five days. Feel free to just state your honest opinion because I think that that is definitely a, a happy a massage happy street. Massage, definitely a happy massage street, right, Solo? Happy, happy massage. You think that's a happy massage street? Happy, 
Have you any? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe He's from China. They don't. <laughs> but let me just tell you guys, it definitely is. I've been, I've had my hands full a, a couple times there, and I've been offered a lot of, a lot of things, for little money. So, just letting you guys know. But this here is the main street of Bukit Binteng. This is where the nightlife is happening um, here in this area. The whole street is pretty much lined with bars. They even have a lot of foreign food here. Um, there's actually a place called Gravy Baby where they sell like Australian meat pies. There's a Mexican restaurant. Did you find a Chinese restaurant? Yes, what's Shanghai? What's Shanghai. Chinese uh, style. Chinese wow. Style in China, there's a lot of bars, huh? Yes. Chinese people love the nightlife? Uh, yes, only, but only in big cities. Okay, only in the like big Shanghai, cities. Shanghai, like Guangzhou, Shenzhen. Okay. So in the big cities. Wow, look, they got a live band in here. No, a really cool area. So this area is actually popping pretty much every day of the week. I mean, look, they got a whiskey bar, rock bottom. This place is called the Bahamas. Every single night, there's something going on here. It's super cool. Well, guys, anyways, I'm going to wrap up my little video because, well, I'm actually about to take some shots of tequila, drink some beers, but I just wanted to show you guys a bit of the nightlife here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I can't show you guys too much of the craziness because then can't make money, man. You know what I mean? I can't make money. I can't continue making these videos. But this here is the Bar Street. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hey, it was nice meet, nice having you in the video solo. Yeah, no problem. Bro. Nice meeting you, bro. Wayne, always a pleasure. Now, tequila. Tequila. Yeah. All right, absolutely. I love that. Tequila, no. Chocolate milk. I got you, bro. Milo. I got you. I got you. All right, real quickly, guys. We got the shots. Music is bumping, though. But just so you guys don't call cap, we're going drinking the tequila. Cheers, yo. You were always smarter.